Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel Genius Speaking, where I teach Italian language for free. Welcome back to another lesson. I left you in the previous episode dealing with the Italian complex sentence. In the previous episode that I link up here, but I also leave the link down in the description, I introduced the concept of complex sentence, but also I've told you there are three main relationships between the main sentence and the other ones. For now, I suggest you to focus because I will teach you how to deal with the main and most diffuse connection between different sentences, and it is called coordination. In Italian, coordinazione. As coordination suggests, it is the way how two different sentences create a relationship one to each other, but the main important topic to understand is that coordination happens when those two sentences do not depend one from each other. But those two sentences can coexist. They have their own meaning and can be placed on the same syntax plane. That means their level is equal. Let's just make an example. I take two sentences. Io ieri andai a Roma. Yesterday I went to Rome. Period. Io ieri incontrai Suzanne. I yesterday met Suzanne. These previous two sentences have their own meaning and they can be independent because they exist without any connection. Io ieri andai a Roma. Io ieri incontrai Suzanne. However, the point is I have to repeat the subjects myself. And that redundancy is not quite optimal to hear when you're trying to build up a fluid speech. That's why placing those two sentences in a longer period with a relationship of coordination helps us to, in the first place, not repeat the subjects and use instead, for instance, conjunctions to link those two sentences with the same person, with the same subject, io, myself. So I can place classic conjunction, e, to modify the two sentences in the following. Io ieri andai a Roma e incontrai Suzanne. Yesterday I went to Rome and I met Suzanne. However, we can say that those sentences are equal on the syntax and semantic level. However, as I told you in the previous lesson, we can always identify one main clause. Tom uscì da casa e prese il treno. Tom left home and he took the train. Many, 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 many times the principle sentence, the main sentence, the main clause, can be spot because it is the first sentence. We arbitrarily choose one main sentence and often we introduce as a first thing in our speech. It is a mental process because it depends on how the speaker wants to place focus on the topic of conversation. If I think that is more important, tell that Tom left his house, Tom uscì da casa, and I think that giving the information that Tom took the train is secondary, of course, I place the first phrase first, and then I add additional meaning. Or in this case scenario, that can happen because of the timeline. Often, main clause and the other subsequent actions are placed in the temporal line. I mean, obviously, Tom first left the house, left his home, and then he took the train. Very often, we implicitly start with the main clause because it is the first that happens on our timeline of actions. 
Of course, we can reverse the sentence. Tom took the train after he left his house. As I said before, in this case, we mess up with the order, the temporal order, because in our mind could be maybe more important telling to our interlocutor, to my interlocutor, that actually the main topic is that Tom took the train. Well, well what? What did he say? You want to increase the stick of difficulty? Well, no problem. We can add a third sentence. Mark uscì di casa. Mark prese il treno. Mark mangiò un sandwich. Mark left home. Mark took the train. Mark ate a sandwich. Again, we can use simple conjunctions because all the three sentences can be placed on the same level. Mark uscì di casa, prese il treno e mangiò un sandwich. To make it more fluid, we can substitute the first conjunction simply with punctuation, with a comma. However, the meaning is the same, to link together different sentences having the same subjects in common. Mark left home, took the train, and he ate a sandwich. And of course, we can add a temporal adverb. Yesterday, ieri, Mark uscì di casa, prese il treno e mangiò un sandwich. Again, how you decide which is the main clause? First, you can simply stick the timeline. You can set the first action that happens as the main clause. After that, we can list what happened after following the line of events. This is the most logic building of complex sentences. However, again, we can instead play with the meaning. If there is something that we think that is more important to tell, we put it first, making it the main clause. If I want to stress out, for instance, that Mark ate a sandwich because it's my main topic, is one I want to transfer to my interlocutors, I can simply play with the sentences and conjunctions and say, Mark ate a sandwich after he left home and took the train. Mark mangiò un sandwich dopo che uscì di casa e che prese il treno. So, when we set the main clause and we link after different other sentences, those sentences introduced by a conjunction are called copulative coordinate sentence. Frase copulativa coordinata. Copulativa, copulative, meaning two sentences are the same and you couple them together. You know, you get the point. The copulation between two sentences has not only positive value, because we can also copulate sentences with the negative meaning. Like, for instance, when we use the conjunction NE can be translated with English NO or NEITHER. Questo dolce non è né buono né bello. This dessert is neither good nor beautiful. However, the two sentences this dessert is not good and this dessert is not beautiful can be copulated together by conjunctions. In our journey through Italian grammar, we can also find what are called disjunctive coordinate propositions. Proposizioni coordinate disgiunte. Stasera noi possiamo cenare a casa oppure cenare al ristorante. Sentences, so coordinative sentences, can be defined disjunctive when express an alternative to the main clause, are introduced by disjunctive conjunctions such as o, oppure, ovvero, and that can be considered the Italian translation for or otherwise. Proposizioni coordinate avversative. Aversative. Coordinative propositions. Tu puoi entrare in casa, ma togli le scarpe. You can enter the house, but you must take off your shoes. This coordinated preposition, it is coordinated to the main sentence. 
However, it's going against the main sentence. And those kind of prepositions are introduced by the relative conjunctions ma, però, tuttavia, the Italian translations for but, however. We can name also explicative prepositions. Prepositioni esplicative when they explain something that has been said via the main clause. The conjunctions that introduce explicative, explicative prepositions are cioè, infatti, perché, that is, in fact, and because. Io oggi non lavoro perché ho la febbre. Today I don't work because I have fever. Ladies and gentlemen, class is dismissed. Please, if you like this lesson, please hit the like button, subscribe. It means a lot for the growth of my channel. But don't forget to comment if you want to know more or, or if something is not clear enough. I will be very glad to answer to all your questions. But in the meantime, remember, speak like a genius. Bye-bye.